If you're new to my channel, my name is Lori and you are watching. Have you ever known a love that's lived on after? Hi everybody. I'm sitting outside um, because I am doing my book, A Thief Among the Trees, a Sabaha Tahara. Tahara, I always say her name, her name wrong, I know. But this is um, a prequel, or whatever you want to call it, to In Ember Nashes. It's before what happened in Ember Nashes. Um, this is when they were younger, a little bit younger. A, him, Helena, and um, Travis, or whatever his name is, are younger, and they have to go on a quest, and then stuff happens. I don't know. But, yeah. So that's what I am going to be reading out here. Um, there will be two separate looking vlogs. One will be on my iPad for the other book I'm reading. But I thought since I had to be outside and everything that I would show you that I'm out here. And I don't know how to uh, like do like where I can put it onto my iPad as well. So I'm just going to do this part out here just so you guys can be witness that I'm out here and then also later we're going to be going to the mall so if I can get some footage I'm going to put some footage of the books that I was looking at and then yeah go from there so yeah um I will update you when I get somewhat in here and let you know how I'm feeling so far so I'll be back in a little bit bye for now
I finished it. It's really good. Usually I don't um, grade them. Some of them I don't grade, but this one I really, really love the plot. I love Ellis so much and it was a little sad and there was a lot of action from the beginning to the end. Sabaha knows how to do her books, I tell you. They are so good, even graphic novels. Yay, two books down for the Read and Rush, woohoo! And I'll be back probably when I do some, if we go, if we still go to the mall and and I get some books, then I will show you around the bookstore. Even though you guys know Barnes and Noble, but still. But I'll let you guys go, and I'll talk to you guys when I start reading the other book that I'm currently in. Reading, and it'll be on the iPad, so it won't be so shaky. So I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Bye. Everybody. I got one of these, so that's what you, the phone's sitting on. I got one of these. <laughs> I got the purple one. There's a purple one, so I got that one. And you can put your iPad on it. You can put your book on it. So that's why the phone's on there. Yay! 
I was going to show you what I got, and then it will be the end of this part of the vlog, but then I still got to do the vlog still that I'm doing for the other book. But I got this because I'm doing diamond painting. I'm going to start doing diamond painting. So I got this where I can put my little um, beads that they give you, or whatever you're going to call them in it. So I got that as well, and then I'll show you the three books I got. I got by Kevin v Vane Van Van I mean Wine or something like that. Date with me, date me. I mean Bryson Keller. Oh, look at that cover! It's so cute. Look at the back. It says Monday. Cough. Can you fall? Oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then it says, Can you fall for? Yeah. Can you fall for someone in five days? We keep breaking all the rules. But it says, and all I just all I know is that he's supposed to date a new a new guy every what was it Friday, Monday every Monday he's supposed to date a new guy until this other guy walks into his life and I guess they start falling in love. I'm not really sure. I don't want to know too much. I know I got this a while ago and I completely forgot through Net Gala, but I wanted a physical copy since I was already late with the um, the review for it. I figured. I would get the physical copy and I can mark it and stuff and annotate it and then I'll know and then I will do the um, review on um, NetGal afterwards. That's the first one. That's what the author looks like. And then I just think this is so cute. I like the little things here like the, the little pictures. But it's rayed so pretty. I'm so excited. Um, that's one I got. Then I got this one. I've never heard of this one before, but it looks good. It's called Bewitched by Paige McKenzie and Nancy Olin or something like that. It says rudely, rudely sniffed, sniff, shift, or sniffed, how do you say it? A cry as being snapped a quick photo of the er eroticy how do you say that word with a shaken hand she grabbed riddle's arm ridley's I mean, yeah ridley's arm and tag let's get the hex out of here the two girls ran putting the horrible message behind them but every time ridley closed her eyes it was as if the words had been burned across her retinas dead witch this is gonna be a long video because I still got one more to talk about and then of course I'm doing the other video so you guys are gonna have two videos to watch that's for the second day but this one says a lone witch has powers a coven has a multitude more it says new girl and secret witch Iris just wants to get through her first day of school without a panic attack the last thing she expects is to be taken in by a coven of three witches, soft-spoken and supportive. Greta, thoughtful and musically, I mean thoughtful and musically, I mean musical Ridley and fairy and spirited beings. They may be the first witches Iris has met, but their coven is not alone in their small northwestern town. The trid, or tried, I mean, or how do you say that word, is the other covening, coven at their school. When the tried, tried's not spell, using spells to perish, or I mean punish their exes, or break up happy couples for fun, they practice dark magic. The two covens have a rivalry stretching all the way back to junior high. It says, when tragedy strikes and a witch is murdered, the river, rival coven must band together to find out who is responsible before it's too late. Someone's anti-witch ideology, how do you say that word? Ideological, how do you say that word? Has turned deadly, and one of them is next. Sounds really good. And I'll just show you, and then I got one more. 
There's that one. That's what it looks like. This one looks so good. I've never heard of it. And I was like, ooh, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, that looks really good. And the last one is Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. I've never read Wilder Girls, but I heard really good things about this, and it looks really scary, and I know, um, I think Ashley finished it or was reading it. I don't know what her rating was on it, but I know she was reading it because she was talking about it, and I don't know too much about this. I know it's supposed to be creepy. It says something about, ever since Margaret was born, it's been just her and her mother. No answers to any, no answers to any of Margaret's questions about what came before. No history to hold on to. No relatives to speak of. Just the two of them, suck, stuck in their rundown apartment, struggling to get along. Says, but that's not enough for Margaret. She wants family. She wants a past, and she just found the key. She needs to get it. A photograph pointing her to a town called Pauline, Pauline, something like that, Pauline, I don't know. It's P-H-A-L-E-N-E. -E. Pointing her home. Uh, only when Margaret gets there, it's not what she bargained for. Margaret's mother left here for a reason, but was it to hide her past or was it to protect Margaret from what's still there? Ooh, it says, uh, the only thing Margaret knows for sure is that there's poison in their family tree and their roots are dug so deeply into Palin, how do we say that word, that now that she's there, she might never escape. <laughs> that looks so good. says, the air burns me from the inside out. Fire is not like this. Not the way I know it. I forget it could hurt. I, I forgot it could hurt. I forgot it could move. I love the color of the cover. That's what Rory Powers looks like. And this one has like a, what you call it on it, like a, a lighter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right here. There's a lighter. That's neat. And that's what it looks like. And that is what I got. Those are the 30 bucks and all the other fun stuff. But I'm going to let you guys go because this one here is going to be long and I still got to do the other one so yeah I don't know which one I'm putting up first even though this is done I might put this up last I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna let you guys like I said go let me know if you read any of these books or if you plan on reading any of them if you never heard of them is there any of those three that you would like to read all right you guys I love you guys all as a friend I hope you guys all have a good day and I will wrap it up completely in the next video, I mean, in the one that's on my tablet later. Okay.